Hello students. Today we are going to talk about auxin, a plant hormone. Auxin is a general name for a group of plant hormones that are involved with growth responses. That is elongate cells, stimulate cell division in callus, etc. Actually the term auxin is derived from the Greek word auxin which means to increase or grow. A conservative definition of auxin is that auxin is indole acetic acid, a weak organic acid, with a structure similar to the amino acid tryptophan. It possesses an indole ring. Just look at this diagram. This is indole ring and a carboxylic acid group. Right? Auxins have been detected practically in all land plants and in several soil or plant associated microbes. Auxin is the first and most studied plant growth hormone in horticulture study. Naturally occurring auxins include indole 3 acetic acid, IAA, indole 3 butyric acid, IBA, phenyl acetic acid, and 4 chloroindole 3 acetic acid. Of all these, indole 3 acetic acid, that is IAA, is the most extensively studied auxin. Chemically, a common feature of all these molecules exhibiting auxin activity is the presence of acidic side chain on the aromatic ring. This is aromatic ring and this is acidic side chain. All of the natural auxins except for phenyl acetic acid are also indole derivatives. Auxins control almost every aspect of plant development including cell vision, cell expansion, and uh, cell differentiation. Discovery of auxin. IA was isolated from maize by chemist during the 1930s, but its existence had been hypothesized several decades earlier. For example, Charles and Francis Darwin hypothesized that uh, hypothesize the existence of mobile signal that promotes elongation of grass coleopatide right in simple and uh, elegant experiments charles and francis darwin showed that coleopatide this is coleopatide bent to the light source when illuminated from one direction Direction of arrows indicating the direction of light here. Then other scientists, including Bayan Jensen, Paul, and Wendt, independently used the same experimental system to show that the bending was promoted by mobile signal that was hydrophilic in nature. And this signal was finally identified as IAA. Nowadays, Research focuses on understanding how such a small molecule can be ubiquitous and at the same time have context dependent function. Why it is important to study auxin? Because of its potent impact on cell division, cell growth, and differentiation. Auxin is very commonly used for artificially controlling plant growth. The most common use of auxin is in growing plants from cuttings. Gardeners often use auxin powder to stimulate root proliferation. At high concentration synthetic auxin like 2,4-D are used as herbicide to which dicotyledonous plants are much more sensitive than monocotyledonous plants, right? As auxin induces cell division at physiological concentration, it can be used in a balanced cocktail with another growth regulator cytokinin to promote cell proliferation in cell culture or in vitro propagation. Considering the key role of auxin in plant development, understanding how auxin works will help in elucidating how fundamental developmental processes are controlled. Structure of auxins. Auxins are naturally occurring or um, an uh, synthetics with auxin activity. So first of all we will talk about naturally occurring auxins. The most important auxin 
naturally occurring auxin found in plant is in dual 3 acetic acid IAA. Other auxins that have been isolated from plants include indole 3 butyric acid IBA, phenyl acetic acid PAA, and 4 chloroindole acetic acid. First, indole 3 acetic acid IAA. The most abundant endogenous auxin is IAA, which is able to fulfill most of the auxin uh, action involved in plant development and responses to the environment. Indole 3 acetic acid is the most common naturally occurring plant hormone of the auxin class. IAA is a derivative of indole containing a carboxymethyl substituent. It is comprised of an indole ring, this is indole ring, linked to acetic acid, right? It is colorless solid that is soluble in polar organic solvents. It is predominantly produced in the apical bud and young leaves of plants and is known to be an inducer of plant division and plant, uh, sorry, plant cell division and elongation. IAA is often used in in vitro culture and more uh, particularly in certain physiological research because it has the advantage of being a natural substance. Then indole 3 butyric acid. IBA is the most abundant natural uh, auxin after IAA. It was originally found in prototubers, but it is present in diverse plant species, not only in prototubers. So IBA was uh, means uh, may represent 25 to 30 percent of the total pool of uh, auxins in Rabidopsis thaliana seedlings. Exogenously applied IBA induces rooting more efficiently than IAA itself and is widely used as rooting agent in agricultural applications. IBA is involved in other auxin mediated developmental processes such as leaf epinasty, cell division, stem banding, root hair elongation, and cell expansion in cotyledons. IBA is both produced from and converted to IAA and is therefore considered as a storage form of IAA, providing the active hormone when uh, and uh, where it is uh, needed. Whether IBA itself is able to induce responses independently of IAA, it remains to be resolved. So this is structure of indole 3-butyric acid. Next is 4 chloro Indole 3 acetic acid. 4 chloro indole 3 acetic acid was discovered in immature seeds of Pisum sativum. Since then, the presence of uh, 4 chloro indole 3 acetic acid has been unveiled in a large number of plants, mainly uh, means uh, members of uh, Fabaceae family and uh, in developing seeds of several legumes. However, 4 chloro indole 3 acetic acid uh, has not been detected in uh, model plant, model plant Arabidopsis, which might explain the lack of detailed knowledge about its uh, mode of action. 4 chloro indole 3 acetic acid stimulates pericarp growth in peas, maize coleoptile elongation, and protoplast swelling. When applied exogenously, 4 chloro indole 3 acetic acid is at lower concentrations compared with IAA, which might be explained by its greater chemical stability. 4 chloroindole 3 acetic acid has also been shown to stimulate root formation in plants by increasing the amount of auxin present in the plant's tissue. So, this is the structure of 4 chloroindole 3 acetic acid. Next is phenyl acetic acid PAA. Phenyl acetic acid PAA is another member of auxin class of phytohormones and its function uh, as a plant growth promoter was identified in 1930s. The bioactive range of PAA differs slightly between species and uh, tissue type, but it is consistently limited when compared with IAA. For example, in P and Avena internodes, IAA promotes growth at concentration less than 0 0.57 micrometer and uh, 5.7 micrometer respectively. In Phaseolus fetalgaris internodes, PAA stimulates growth between 10 micrometer 
and uh, 500 uh, micrometer whereas IAA is active from 0 0.1 micrometer to 500 micrometer right PAA is elevated during stimulated herbivory infection by agrobacterium in nodule tissues and in roots inoculated with AM forming fungi mycorrhiza forming fungi right the elevation of PAA in root interactions coincides with the high efficiency of PAA in stimulating lateral root enunciation and uh, callus growth. This is structure of phenylastic acid. Then synthetics with auxin activity. So mainly three synthetic auxins are there. Naphthalenistic acid and AA, 2,4-dichlorophenoxyastic acid, 2,4-D and 2,4-5-trichlorophenoxyastic uh, acid. 245 t First is naphthalene acid NAA. Naphthalene uh, acid NAA features a carboxymethyl group linked to first position of naphthalene. Right? You can see here this is the structure of uh, naphthalene acetic acid. NAA is a synthetic plant hormone in the auxin family as i already told you and is an ingredient in many commercial horticulture products it is a rooting agent and used for vegetative propagation of plants from stem and leaf cutting it is also used for plant tissue culture and aa does not occur naturally and like all auxin is toxic to plants at high concentration 24 dichlorophenoxyastic acid 24 d 2,4-D is a synthetic auxin. It's a systemic herbicide that kills most uh, broadleaf weeds by causing uncontrolled growth. But most grasses such as cereals, lawn turf and grassland are relatively unaffected. 2,4-D is one of the oldest and most widely available herbicides in the world, having been commercially available since 1945 and is now produced by many chemical companies right it is absorbed through the leaves and is translocated to the meristem of the plants 24d is typically applied as an amine salt but more potent ester versions also exist this is structure of 2,4-dichlorophenoxyastic acid 2,4,5-trichlorophenoxyastic acid, 2,4,5-T. It is also a synthetic auxin. It is a chlorophenoxyastic acid herbicide used to defoliate broad-leaved plants. It was developed in late 1940s, synthesized by reaction of 2,4,5-trichlorophenol and chloroacetic acid, right? It was widely used in agriculture industry until being phased out starting in the late 1970s due to toxicity concern because uh, 245T itself is a toxic right so this is structure of 245 trichlorophenoxyastic acid auxin responses auxins are involved in the following responses like uh, cell elongation and uh, uh, wall relaxation cell differentiation, ethylene production, inhibition of root growth, stimulate root enunciation, flowering, parthenocarpic fruit development, and apical dominance. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.